Tim Baranga with WorkSaver. Proud to introduce our new electric compact grapple that's 48 inches wide. It's available in skid steer and John Deere hook and pin mounts. And it solves a problem that we kept hearing over and over in the uh, marketplace. And that is, hey, we have a subcompact tractor, but we don't have a, a third auxiliary hydraulics, but we like to have a grapple. Well, with the uh, ECG48S uh, shown here, we have put a electric linear actuator in place of the hydraulic cylinder, so you no longer need third function hydraulics. Now, the actuator itself is IP65 rated, so we'll be able to handle being outside and uh, low pressure water spray. It's protected, well protected with a guard here and a rubber grommet that keeps the tube safe. Welcome back. The uh, back side of the grapple is also very well planned out too. The electric cable runs down the back of the grapple. It's protected by a steel shield in the front and is bolted in face with a fastener so uh, uh, the wires don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about the wires getting caught with uh, twigs or debris. Now we wanted to make this easy for the end user to be able to take the grapple on and off without having to hook to the battery every time. So our solution is we went with a uh, heavy duty Anderson connector down here where it does have covers on it too. So when you're ready to disconnect from the grapple, you just undo the covers, pull the plug, and then you can put the uh, covers right back over the plug so you keep uh, debris and, and water out of it. But by having the connector right here on the loader, it's out of the way so you can leave it permanently attached to the loader. And uh, we do this with securing it with just zip ties and it runs back and it's a heavy 10 gauge wiring harness with a nice wire loom around it. And uh, on certain model of tractors, there will be a little bit of excess wire. So uh, all you have to do is just coil it up and, and tie it where it's out of your way. And then the uh, mount for the joystick uh, doesn't have to be taken off uh, either. It can stay on permanently because you can still use your joystick and, and the switch is out of the way.